Hey y'all, so the Squatch here. Uh, on our way to Savannah to see our kids. Haven't done a video in a little while, so I figured I'd do a quick video uh, on some ideas that we had. Went to Ocala last weekend and did some riding, did some testing on a few things. Um, and some of the stuff I tried while I was on the Huracan. Uh, I'm just gonna do a couple today, and then I've got some more when I get home that I wanna do. Um, on water filtration and stuff like that but um, as far as my uh, change of fat adapted everything's going good um, kind of settled into the lifestyle uh, the weight's coming off slower than I'd like but it's still coming off so we're still making progress um, so I'm here with Tina Tina's driving the, the truck hello, hello. And uh, so one of the things that we did last weekend was we, you know, we were trying to save a little bit of money while we were camping out of the Squatch van. And uh, so we pretty much lived on uh, some dehydrated, dehydrated meals, um, which is the Mountain House meals. Uh, I don't know if some of you guys have tried them or not, but we tried, uh, we had the breakfast skillet, beef stroganoff, and chili mac and cheese or chili mac with beef and I thought they were great um, what do you think Tina they you were like edible them? they were edible you like the chili mac though right I ate it because that's what we had to eat oh well if if you had your choice would you would you could you do a bike packing trip and live off of that food I could that's what I thought I liked it I, I really enjoyed them. Uh, of course, I've had them before, but they're pretty good. And one of the tricks you can do with these, instead of using this big old pack and trying to pack this thing up, I was checking it out. You can take and get some freezer Ziploc baggies. And these are two and a half servings, so I usually just split them up, put them in the freezer Ziplocs, and they can handle the hot water. So you just use a small Ziploc and Ziploc, it, it makes it a small container, but you do have to, once you put the water in them and zip it up, you do have to cover it up with something to keep the heat in to cook the food. Um, that's just one of the tricks, but that's what I use. I try to take it apart and uh, use, you know, Ziplocs. It makes it a lot easier. It doesn't take up as much room. You just got to make sure you cover it up so it heats itself. Um, so I'm pretty happy with those. The other ones is a pack of gourmet. We didn't have any of those on this trip. I didn't have a chance to order them before we went down to Ocala. Um, but pack of gourmet stuff is amazing. Uh, they've got gumbo. They've got about any kind of food you want, but they're they are amazing. It takes a little bit more to cook those. You got to add all the ingredients together and stuff. But those are those are freaking awesome. Um, and I want to put a shout out to Ocala too. I know a lot of my friends are down there for the. Santos Fat Tire Fest, but we went down there with our gravel bikes because uh, we got rained out of the dirty pecan, and that paved trail, uh, I think it's a Lime Rock Trail, it goes down through the middle of Santos, across the land bridge, and you catch some other trails that one of my friends uh, showed me, you can get all the way out to Ross Prairie uh, off of that trail, and Pruitt, you can get all the way out to Pruitt if you want. And it's a great little trail, so if you are down there bikepacking or mountain biking with your family and they don't want to do the trails, they can do that paved trail. It's pretty amazing. It's a lot of fun. Looks good. And it's very nice. So we had a great time down there. And I think we're going to change our campgrounds. We used to campground all the time in Santos. I think we're going to start doing Shangri-La after the Huracan. Um, I really like that place. We went back down there last weekend. It's really good. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was I know a lot of people do energy goos and um, yeah the gels and all that on their routes and I don't I don't really care for all that pure sugar and they, they, the consistency and the taste and I don't know I just don't like it much so um, I tried something new that a friend of mine John Dove told me about and it's spring energy uh, I don't know if I got too much sun on that but spring energy does a great job this one here is the color McRae Covery, and it's got 150 calories. Um, it's got, well, 
balsamatic rice, organic banana, organic pea protein, cherries, organic coconut oil, almonds, walnuts, cassava, maple syrup, dried cherries, not GMO, lecithin, I'm not even sure what that is, uh, organic lemon juice, uh, coca, sea salt, vitamin C, citric acid. Uh, so it's, it's all whole foods and it's it's kind of consistency of a little bit thicker than baby food you think yeah. but uh this is a recovery one and this one here is my favorite it's called canterbury that's got 100 calories and calories in it and it is very very tasty goes down a lot better than the goons and um, you like the taste of the canterbury right yeah. yeah and they have a bunch of other different flavors they also have a uh, electrolyte drink mix that comes in a pack like this that you can put in your water bottles. I really didn't like it. I mean, I drank it. It didn't cause me any stomach problems or anything like that. That's one thing about this. This doesn't bother my stomach at all. Um, but I thought the, the electrolytes tasted kind of medicine-y. I didn't really like it that much. So I probably won't use it. I usually just do rocket lights and, and water is what I usually do when I'm riding. So... Well, that's just a quick uh, update on things are going. Uh, do another shout out to Tiny. He's uh, <laughs> he's trying. He's struggling a little bit, but he's trying to to stay with the plan. Uh, he sent me a, a picture the other day that where his mom made him some Brussels sprouts and some you know pretty good looking food. So he's 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 trying. Uh, I'm aggravating the tar out of him every day when he's doing something he ain't supposed to so um, we'll see how it goes but um, and this isn't keto so but usually if I'm riding hard um, on, on my rides I can do a little bit of extra carbs and stuff and it burns it right out I don't have to worry about the, the keto or the fat adapted so uh, huh? yeah the ketosis and I'm not really worried about standing ketosis all the time I just want to be fat adapted it seems like I'm losing the inches off my belt line and stuff a lot better um, than any of my other diets. I haven't weighed myself in a couple weeks um, just because I get a little frustrated if it doesn't show like five pounds a week. So I'm just going by the way my clothes fit and how that's going. And I'm going to start a new, um, I'm going to start going to the gym please and doing, uh oh, please, the pump pump. Um, I'm going to do some. CrossFit little stuff like the the salt bike and the ski machine where you pull the pull it down from above your head down. Um, I think that's going to help my core um, as far as riding because my strong my core is not very strong and my hands uh, are pretty messed up by the time I get done with a long ride. So I got to work on my core to keep the weight off the handlebars. So, but um, good luck to everybody out there that's doing the. The Huracan Mini Grandy Park. Uh, they're, I think, they're on their second day. Charlie Watkins, he's uh, finishing up his yo-yo of the uh, Florida Divide, and I think he's calling it to actually go help somebody clean up their areas because of the storm just stuff that come through. But that guy's an animal. He's kicking it. This year has been uh, this last calendar year. He's rode about everything there as a ride. So, and he's a good dude. Um, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later, and don't forget to share this. Maybe get some more subscribers if you have any comments and want me to test something out. Um, just let me know. My next video will be on water filtration and fanny packs. All right, thank you all.